Commuters will face travel chaos on Wednesday with the first of five 24-hour rail strikes set to take place. Unions have been looking for a pay rise of 3.75% with management offering a one-year increase of 1.75%. Talks between management and unions at the WRC took place earlier this month but failed to reach an agreement. The breakdown of the talks was very disappointing because we put an awful lot of effort into trying to construct a package that our members would accept and to spend 12 hours in the WRC to have, as we call it, the rug pulled from under us at the last minute was totally unacceptable. And now that the company have treated us in this fashion, it's going to make it actually harder to... Um, to come to our deal now at this stage. At Connolly Station, commuters reacted to the imminent disruptions. I think sometimes you have to stand up for your rights and um, they, they have tried everything. Um, I would be a strong uh, trade union supporter. I'm just, I'll just be using the bus instead. Like, I, I don't think it'll affect me too much. I think it's important for workers to, you know, strike if they think it's, uh, you know, needed, I guess. Um, it's annoying when it affects public transport because it affects so many different people. But if you compare ourselves against, you know, Paris, like, they, they have so many more strikes. Well, I'm not a regular commuter, so it wouldn't affect me directly. Um, but if I was a regular commuter, uh, I wouldn't be too impressed. But then at the other side, I can understand why they're striking. So I could kind of see both sides. but. If it would affect me getting to work, obviously, you know, I wouldn't be too happy. Over 155,000 people a day are expected to be affected by the stoppages, costing the firm 900,000 per day. CEO of Irish Rail Dave Franks warned the workforce of 3,800 that they may scupper their chances of a pay rise if they continue with the rail strike. Sean Cohn, DCU TV News.